potentially you know the optional chaining operator and let's check what is the optional chaining operator is used to access an object property or call the function so let's see an example let's assume we have a score for student so score so student score let uh, the student score which is an object so let's say this student is offering math and has a score of 65 and offering or let's say geography and also with the score of, of 17 and that is for the student score now we want to get a student score for chemistry let's, uh, let's say chemistry score so let's call the variable called chemistry score and for that chemistry score we want to get the student score which is student score Then score dot chemistry. Now this student is not offering chemistry, so let's see the result. So let's output uh, the chemistry score. And you can see right here we got undefined. And this is only outputting undefined because I'm using only a uh, graphical interface. And if you are using it mainly on a browser, it will literally throw an error, which will cause your page to break down because the uh, the value you are trying to access is undefined or not. And let's let's go back and see how to bypass this error. To get the error, you have to put the optional chaining to it. So for the optional chaining, we have the uh, the question mark right here and also a dot symbol so after that we put the value we want to access let's say chemistry uh, chemistry right there so that is uh, chemistry let's have for the chemistry chemistry score So you see now that we got undefined and if you make use of the optional chaining in your browser, your page will be fine without having an error because you have optional chaining for accessing your value from the object. And over that, let's put in the uh, chemistry score right there so we can see. So for chemistry, we have 80. And you can see right here, we got 80 because the chemistry score is now defined. And when we move it again, you can see that it's undefined instead of throwing an error in your browser. And let's go back and check uh, with a new method, which is a long way around without using the optional chaining. So to get the chemistry score, instead of putting the optional chaining I'm going to use chemistry dot uh, score uh, student score dot chemistry is equal to undefined or student score so student score dot chemistry is equal to no and output um undefined else after the student score dot chemistry and let's add for the student score you can see we got undefined when we put in back chemistry which is 80 sorry this chemistry you can see we get the chemistry value back again and when we comment it out you can see it's undefined and this is a long way run when if you are not using the optional chaining operator and that is for the optional chaining operator if you like the video please follow and like my video